And we are back with another Black with No Cream podcast. New episode every single Sunday. I am your host, Ben Haggerty, a.k.a. Ben Real vs. World. Um, I'm on tour, man. Out here. I, check it out. If you're watching the YouTube version of this, you can see I'm wearing a Rock Nation hat because uh, I'm on tour with Jay-Z and Beyonce, which is pretty cool, dude. Um, still can't believe that that's my life right now. Um, but yeah, I'm in, in, Anst- I'm in, I'm in, 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 in. I'm in Amsterdam right now we got two shows here it's gonna be pretty lit uh we've been on tour playing a couple shows did glasgow manchester um cardiff been in the uk for a while now i'm back to that european plug shit so that's dope for the adapter switch anyway um yeah this podcast shit solo episodes is kind of weird i experimented i did the first episode on the season two shit uh two weeks ago talking about networking that was fun i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, episode two was a really good interview with my homie Kai. He's a brilliant artist, so I hope you all check that out because that shit turned out really, really good. Actually, I just listened to the whole, the whole thing yesterday. It was pretty dope. Um, so this one, I wanted to talk about uh, storytelling. I was listening to this podcast that I was on with my homie Justin O'D show. He's a great YouTuber. You guys gotta check out his channel. He does like a lot of tutorial shit, and he's like an expert in Adobe. So if you are trying to learn some shit about Premiere or Photoshop, whatever, you should check out Odisha's channel on YouTube, link in description. And um, anyway, he has this thing called group chat. So what he did was had he stopped at our office back in L.A. a couple months ago. And him, me, my homie Andrew Sandler, who's like a brilliant uh, director, producer. He did all of Chris Brown's documentaries. You've heard him on the podcast before if, you're, if you've been listening to this for a while. Um music videos and all that shit. My homie Shannon, who's just been Shannon Griffin. She's like a beast editor. She just edited the documentary that Andrew and I co-directed for my guy, Lewis house, which is not out yet. Um, but legend, she's a legend. And so anyway, what we were talking about in there, I saw this clip and I just pulled the clip. I'll play it for you in a second, but we were talking about storytelling and like the art of it. Right. And I feel like it's missed often, especially with these new creators coming up. A lot of people are missing that ability to tell stories because they're going straight to the tech side of things, which is let me get the camera. Let me figure out how to do slow motion shit. Let me fly it on a gimbal and edit it like it's never been edited before. Um, which is sick, but I feel like now we're, it's, it's getting overwhelming. There's so many people that are cutting and creating in the same vein. And I feel like the direction is heading in a bad place because what's going to happen is everyone's going to get sick of watching really dope fucking cinematic videos of just like crazy shit happening, like 150 clips in a minute. Um, and they're going to get bored because there's no story. We're just seeing a bunch of dope shit. That's just crazy looking, but I'm not attached to that. And that's a huge issue, I think. Um, and I hope that, I don't know, I can shed some light on my experience coming up in this shit and, um, and how I kind of learned how to tell stories decently, (laughs) I guess. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm an expert in storytelling, but, uh, it's got me, I'm on tour with Jay-Z and Beyonce. So that's cool. Like I've figured out how to shoot and edit things well enough to get me here, which is crazy. So maybe I'm on to something or close. Maybe I'm almost there. Yeah. So if you're new to this podcast, it's the Black Window Cream podcast. Black Window Cream is a community on Facebook. We're private, but uh, growing very quickly. And if you want to get involved, just go to bwnc.com slash join. It's for creators of all kinds. And uh, we're always pushing each other to become the best motherfucking content creators on earth. So if that sounds like your type of shit, you should join. Speaking of the community... It exists online, but it's starting to grow in real life. And what I mean by that is there's people in different communities, in different cities and countries and all this shit getting together outside of this Facebook group and meeting up and kicking it with each other. And um, I shouted this dude out. He was like, I, I, I'm highlighting members at the end of these podcasts within the community. And the last podcast I did, solo podcast, I highlighted my homie Fernando. He's now my homie. I did not know him before this, but he found the community. He's been active as fucking that shit. And he started hosting these meetups and shit in, different, in London and getting together in Amsterdam and stuff. And it's really cool to see. And um, I just finally got to meet the guy. So we went out and uh, he brought Sylvia, who's like another member in Black Widow Cream. Me, her, him, Dave. We all went and got, uh, I got like a, it was like this waffle chicken sandwich. It was a wild. Um, but we got to hang out and talk about Black Widow Cream and like where it's going. And he gave me this really dope book. And I think that's in my um, 
suitcase somewhere from all the Black Widow Cream members. They all signed it and shit, but they've been meeting up and just the idea that I could meet two people in another country I, I've hardly ever been to um, and be friends with them and like actually kick it is so cool to me and that all comes from this group. So I, I love that. I appreciate you guys uh, making the book for me. Whoever was able to fill it out, I still have yet to read it all. Um, but everyone filled out a page about what Black Widow Cream meant to them and how it's helped them. It was really cool. And, um, and I hope that we can continue to do this. Uh, I'm in Amsterdam now. I'm going to try to meet a couple of the Amsterdam Black Window Cream members um, and try to keep doing that in all the countries I'm going to. But uh, I, I encourage you guys to be like Fernando and try to pull these off in your cities with or without me. Just, oh, cool. There's one other person in fucking Toronto that is in Black Window Cream. Let's go get coffee together. Or, or wherever you live, try to do something and just get together and meet each other and interact in real life because that's so fucking key in all of this but anyway sorry for talking so much um i'm just excited solo podcasts are hard to do i'm like sitting kind of weird and sitting in a room by myself just talking to this camera yeah okay i'm just gonna get to it um first i'm gonna play the the intro to the podcast um because it's the most fucking you know you know what i always say and then I'm going to play Justin's snippet so you guys can get an idea where I'm coming from. And then I'm going to bust out three fucking tips, the illest tips you've ever heard about how to fucking be a better storyteller or whatever. Um, so, yeah, the most epic podcast intro ever created right motherfucking now. Attention. If you stop this podcast recording at any time, you will die. I don't want to die. Do you want to live? Yeah. You have 24 hours to share this podcast with five people or you will die. I'm kidding. You won't die. You're just weak shit for not sharing. And the winner of the best motherfucking podcast goes to... Goes to... Black with no cream. What do you think? It's so fucking dumb and so fucking Ben Haggerty. I knew you would say that. I think that the benefit to film school for me was learning the fundamentals and learning film theory. And I think a lot of people nowadays are, you know, learning how to edit or learning cool transitions or learning skill sets, but they're not, they don't, if you don't know the fundamentals, then you can't break the rules. So you yeah. have to know the rules 100%. to be able to break the yep. rules. So don't just, you know, learn how to edit and learn how to do transitions because that's not enough. You have to know storytelling why? and know yeah, why. Storytelling so because key. if you don't know why, those transitions are just transitions. Yeah, they're not yeah, yeah. adding value. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're not adding value to the story you're trying to tell. Absolutely. Because I see people do that all the time. And if you actually watch like... A, and watch, watch the best thing I say for editors, and this is something I did. Actually, I started doing this in high school. Watch a movie without the sound. And if you can still understand what's going on, then that's good editing. So my grandma doesn't speak English. And it's so funny because sometimes me and my... <laughs> Segway. No, me and, <laughs> me and my brother will like put on a movie with her. And we, like, I always love when she gets what's going on because she doesn't understand what the people are saying. Yeah, exactly. So she just has to rely on like you know emotion the, and what's going on so cues. like we always know that a show is good or not if like my grandma gets enveloped in it and she's like <laughs> this guy's no good or whatever you know? <laughs> and but i'm like how does she know what's going on but like movies like inception or something is probably it's like impossible but that's her. facts because look at like <laughs> how many creators are coming up right now and i think are glorified for like this insane edit ability like, but phew. yeah just some wild shit and i love it because it's new and it's something that people are exploring with and now they're mixing oh here's the 360 cam added to it and it's cool as fuck but the problem is for longevity for these young creators because they come up and they just start shooting right away and they never develop the storytelling the storytelling ability it's like if you can add that to your insanity of editing and video skills it's like that's where you will become excellent yes we are back um hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh shout out to justin again he's a legend for having me on the podcast i appreciate that um and i hope you kind of get where i'm coming from and now i can get into the three tips that i have the three tips tip number one study study i don't think school is the shit i don't like really think you need to go to school for for this for creating and making f films and shit but there's fuck tons of things to learn i don't think you have to go because i didn't really go i went to college but i went for a communications degree and an emphasis in electronic media and at the time it was like using dv tapes and shit like you know 
we're there it's for people just learning how to edit and setting you up to go to like news broadcasts and shit and i i didn't fit in that lane but it was like the closest thing for me to be creative so i did it but while there i practiced all the time and i used the resources which is super key and i was going to barnes and noble and fucking buying storytelling books and you know storytelling 101 and how to write scripts and the arcs or story arcs and how to break down scenes and all this different shit about storytelling and I was just reading the fuck out of it. And I feel like I was reading that to understand how to build stories. And then I was reading other pieces and how to actually tell stories. Two different things. You're building a story. You know, you're trying to find all the elements and all the pieces that could build and make the story. And then you have to figure out how to tell it by utilizing the actual path of characters, the actual path of, um, not, I don't want to say vibes because that's corny as fuck, but like emotions and, and you have to put them on a roller coaster, put your viewer on a roller coaster to make them understand who this person is, make them married to that person and make them want to cheer on this person or whatever your goal is and then make them ride through, you know, some sort of moment in time with these people. And that was, that was all I studied. I wrote a million scripts. They were all trash, but I'm wrote script after script after script and wrote all these ideas. And when I got into music, I would do the same thing. It's like, how do you tell a story in three minutes or, or whatever, you know? So like, I've, I've just always been obsessive with storytelling. And, and I think that that wouldn't be possible to know what I know now if I hadn't read all these books and I hadn't studied all these fucking forums. You know, this is before YouTube was really killing it, but like I was studying forums and reading blog posts. I was trying to get my hands on everything I could to, grasp and understand what I needed to do to, to, to make films or to make any video possible. It wasn't, I wasn't ever like, Oh, I need to make, I want to make star Wars. I wasn't ever thinking like, I want to be a massive film director. I just want to tell stories that people could relate to and enjoy. Um, if that was a shitty YouTube video or I didn't give a fuck about quality and just made some shit, it didn't matter. I just wanted to tell a story that people could fall in love with. So I study the fuck out of it and I really encourage you to go out of your way to find and get your hands on any resource that you can find. Study the greats, find the people that inspire you, read everything and learn everything you possibly can about that person in particular so that you can figure out what they did because most likely they've done an interview. Most likely they broke down, they talked about their process or whatever and that information is available out there. You just need to find it. It's, it's, I would encourage that before messaging them or reaching out to them to try to pick their brain on things because there's a lot of information you can get out of them before actually talking to them. So I would suggest doing that and just trying to follow the path of people you look up to. Um, and imitate them and if you can get anywhere near that you're already on the right path and as soon as you can throw your own little twist on top of it it's like you know that that story is going to be yours you're going to be very good at telling these stories so study 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 the fuck out of that shit study it go to barnes and noble that shit ain't dead go read a book it ain't hard or book buy a fucking audio book you know what i'm saying um okay so that's number one cool number two experience Super key. Um, ever since I was young, like I look at it right now, I'm 30 years old. I just turned 30 uh, last week. I turned 30 in uh, Gla- no, where the fuck was I? Cardiff, United Kingdom, which is crazy to me to have a birthday in another country. On tour with Beyonce and Jay Z. This was a day before the tour started. So I'm spending it around them and. I'm fucking in another country, and this is just super wild to me. Um, That's an experience. And I think about where I'm at right now and how crazy it is to have gotten here and all the things that I've done since I was in high school. Like, I've done so much shit. I've been in every band you could think of. I performed music in front of all kinds of people. I wrote a bunch of songs. I made all the videos for our music. I would travel the fucking United States over and over again in my little punk bands and my pop punk bands and hip hop groups and all the shit that we did. And we would go all over the place. I'd fly all over the place with public speakers. I would travel with different bands and shoot documentaries about them. I've fucking done so much wild shit. It, it's like beyond me. Um, and all that shit is experience that has helped me grow as a person and a th- and how I think and how I articulate my stories. Um, and I think that just having some experience can go a long ways. And especially for a young creator that's coming up, you buy the camera, you buy the gear, and you start making your, your shit right away. You go do something. Go be aggressive. If you're not going to go to a film school, if you're not going to go spend a bunch of money on 
gear right away, spend that money on travel. Like you don't need to have the best fucking camera in the world to make content or you don't need to have the best editing software or the best lenses to shoot photography. Like buy a point and shoot, use your cell phone. Who gives a fuck? Go somewhere and experience something. Build a group of friends that can go travel and share memories together. Experience will really add value into your storytelling ability because you need to have stories to be able to tell stories. So start with that shit experience. Tip number three, I wrote down patience. What did I mean by that? I don't edit these podcasts. I just like let them go. So, you know, it might be me saying a bunch of stupid shit for a little bit, but there might be a piece of gold in there somewhere. Patience. I meant by patience, you, okay, this is what I meant. You have to have patience when you're telling a story especially in the world. I mean, I, for me, traveling around with artists and doing different things like that, I'm assuming most of the people listening to this come, come from that world. You have to have patience and the ability that you might not know what the story is going into it. Um, take, for example, me going on tour with Schoolboy Q. I knew I needed to recap the tour. I needed to document the tour. And when it came down to making an episode, I was just filming random shit that we were doing, but there was no real story to it besides we're on tour, we play shows, shows are pretty sick. I had to figure out what the stories were around it. So I would shoot a lot. I would shoot more than I needed to. Um, We're just chilling in the bus. Someone starts having a conversation, I'd film it. And then all of a sudden, they'd say one thing in that conversation that might tie in with something that happened three days ago. And then I'm like, oh, shit, you know what I could do is have that play into this, and that'll start building the story into this, and then we can go into the concert, and that makes sense why this happened, and this happened, and this happened, and then boom. Um which if you haven't watched those, please go watch those, watch every episode. And as a clear example, Smack, who is Q's brother, cousin, his best friend, whatever, Smack, we told him that he was going to have a meet and greet. And we did that. We introduced that in like episode one or two in Miami. And then we get to Miami and we find out that's all a joke. But then throughout the process, Smack's head's getting real big because he's got a meet and greet and all this shit. And we build it up to be this big thing and then you feel really bad for him. But then Smack's like now the underdog again. So it's like these little things that just happen. But it wasn't like when I started the tour, I wasn't, oh, this guy Smack is going to go on tour and we're going to crack a joke on him. I didn't know him. So I had, to, I had to learn who my characters were. I had to understand my surroundings and I had to just wait and just feel it out and listen back to what I had and watch the content I had and start building stories slowly. And with patience, then came great little chunks of content that came out on YouTube and lived and did their thing. Um, so you, you need to have patience in order to... to <sighs> my fucking Zoom just died. Cause I'm a dumbass and didn't put batteries in it. Oh my god! Hold on a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I fucking forgot to put batteries, new batteries, in my Zoom, and it died. So I'm sorry about that little interruption. Thank God for the camera audio, which probably sounded like shit. We'll see. Um. Anyway, man, that's it. I'm um, I'm so tired. I need sleep. Uh, I really just wanted to get something out there for you guys to hear. Hopefully this makes sense or is helpful in any way possible. But I think if you study your ass off, experience your life and apply that shit into um, any story you start telling and just have some solid patience, this shit will come. And if you strategically build, you will be the shit at storytelling. Don't think all you need to do is sit there and have a bunch of speed ramp videos. That's not the only thing you can make you have the ability to tell stories i challenge you to actually try doing and telling a story with five cuts do that make one instagram video this is tight cool new challenge if you're listening to this shit and you make videos or if you make let's see how do i do this if you make all right for video creators specifically make a video that's one minute with just five cuts tell me a story and then fucking add my ass or DM it to me or whatever. That's cool. Photographers, I'll think of something else later. I'm too tired to think of these contests, guys. I'm so sorry. This shit's getting hard to do on the road, but I'm going to stay on top of it. Um, we're going to record more podcasts. I'm going to try to get them done so I'm not scrambling for shit on Sundays. I just don't want to let you guys down. I want to make sure these get out. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, let me highlight a member. Um, this week I wanted to highlight this dude named Dev Matic. He's in the group. 
he's sharing fucking all the time actually it's crazy the insights i get within uh black on cream because it'll tell me people that are um like the top contributors and dev maddox on, on this bitch all the time sharing his his stories and i think he just shot some some uh some something just shot something for xxl magazine i don't know so go look him up check him out i appreciate him being a part of black and cream and sharing his advice and his tr- tricks and tips um and i everyone i appreciate everyone that's in this shit you guys are all fucking killing it every time i explain this shit to new people on the tour or whatever everyone seems to be really jacked up about the idea of black window cream so i'm hoping to get some new creators in here with some ridiculous experience soon and share their shit with y'all um yeah all right cool that's it no merch nothing to plug just share the share the episode if you guys think it helps uh i promise you i will eventually get to the point where i can have this more structured and hopefully it has more meaning and is better in general <laughs> uh soon when i get off tour black window cream is all i'm doing and uh, i'm excited to like rent a place that could become the bwnc headquarters these are things i think about and i like the podcast for the fact that i can think out loud all right cool that's it um thanks for listening next one's coming up uh this next sunday if you guys have any ideas of topics i should talk to email me blackwindowcream at gmail.com just shoot me an email and put the subject topic for solo episode and then boom send me a shit i want to know all right guys talk to you uh next week enjoy it bye motherfuckers